Hello, Divine Films. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley, and I am here to do a Confessions of the Karmic Masculine. Okay, as you come in, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Hit the bell so you can be notifi notified of future reads. Everything you need to know about me and my poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description. Please keep in mind um, that this is for all the Divine Films. Every single aspect may not resonate with you. Please take what resonate with your situation and leave the rest. Please and thank you. I hope all you guys are feeling fabulous. So, yeah. Uh, we going to tap into this energy. Confessions of your karmic masculine. So, Divine Films, I understand. I understand we are, are or were on our, um, our twin flame journey, okay? And most of us have dealt you know, with karmic masculines. I'm one myself, you know? So, you know, we live and we learn. We gonna get uh, confessions, confessions of the karmic masculine. I'm hearing a lot of you guys when you separated from your twin or your higher level soulmate, take it where it resonate. I feel like you didn't get a lot of closure, okay? I feel like this, uh, your person didn't, it really didn't tell you shit. Like they, they didn't, you didn't get closure. Okay. With the situation. And I feel like, uh, that's wrong. Okay. So we gonna tap in. We gonna get the tea on these motherfuckers. Okay. Okay. So yeah. Benevolent ancestors of the highest white light. I ask that you give me clear channel messages for my divine fam. So I also ask that you protect me as I open myself up to different energies. Thank you, Ashe. So let's hop in, y'all. We gonna first get some overall energy. <clears throat> but we gonna see confessions of the karmic masculine. <clears throat> okay, spirit. What's the overall energy? <laughs> That's crazy because this was at the bottom of the deck. Okay, it's the magician. Magician is the overall energy. Okay. <clears throat> so with that magician card, your person could, could have been a tricky type of energy. Okay. This person could have been someone who who uh who liked to manipulate energy to make things go their way, okay. Someone, someone, yeah, this is someone because this was, this could have once been, for some of you, your karmic masculine was once a divine masculine, okay? A divine masculine before uh, he turned on you for the karmic, okay? So this person, I'm hearing this person, divinity been took, the karmic masculines, their divinity, they've been stripped, okay? This is someone who who had these these gifts okay this is someone who had the tools and the resources to get to get what they want it's just that they use their spiritual gifts to manipulate to deceive okay to uh to just to get over on people okay this person used i'm hearing they were stripped of their divine their divinity Okay, I'm hearing your person was a divine masculine, but he turned karmic, so he was stripped. That's exactly what I'm getting. That's a conf confession right there. He was stripped. A lot of these karmic masculines, they started off divine. My karmic masculine, he started off divine. He, he turned on me for a karmic, so he was stripped. The wind blew out the, uh, the candle. <laughs> Okay, so <clears throat> that could be significant too. For a lot of you, y'all see with this candle blowing out, your karmic masculine tries to push your light out. You, you someone, you're the empress, okay? You're the divine feminine. You shine. You have this inner light that no, no matter what you're going through, you, you always going to stand out. You're very bold. You have this beautiful energy. This person could have been insecure about that let's hop in yeah this person could have been afraid of change you could be saying five 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 
Okay. Uh, confessions of the karmic masculine spirit. Confessions of the karmic masculine. Confessions of the karmic. Wow. Self love. This karmic masculine. He said. He he never he he grew up in a karmic household. Okay. He grew up in a household um, filled with toxicity, addictions, negativity. He grew up with a karmic mother, okay? He grew up in a dif dysfunctional, he understand, he grew up in a dif dysfunctional family. He never, when he was a child, he never received the love that he thought he deserved. He never received the nurturing, the caring aspect, okay? He, he, uh, your karmic masculine, he's confessing that he's someone who's, who didn't work on, on the relationship with himself. That's why your union suffered. This masculine never went within. He never did the work. He never did the, he was too afraid to face himself, okay? This is someone who feels comfortable operating in her shadow self. This person, this masculine, he's, he's confessing that he, he, he's unhealed. He has childhood wounds that's yet to be, uh, to be healed, okay? Let the wall fall that separates me from my own vulnerable inner child. I long to take care of myself like never never before. Yes, this person could have dealt with abandonment issues, codependency, because this person, the, the wounds from childhood, the traumatic events that took place in this person's childhood, he never faced them, okay? And this is, I feel like this is something, this is something that, these unhealed wombs, it stopped this masculine from evolving. This karmic masculine, it stops him from evolving into the emperor. Mm. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Confessions of the karmic masculine spirit. Wow. This person is saying they they seen the signs they seen the synchronicities like you okay this person spirit gave this person uh synchronicities messages through songs i'm hearing okay i'm i i, I feel like you are your divine family you're a star seed this person could have been a star seed too and you guys i feel like communicated you guys communicated uh, through music. I'm picking up music, uh, but what this this person is saying, he confessed that when spirit tried to guide him and help him to heal those inner child wounds, this person, this person didn't have the courage. This person didn't have the courage to take that guidance. This person didn't have the courage. To, to follow the light. Like I said, this is someone who's comfortable operating in their lower self. This is someone who uses their, who use their gifts, who use their charm, who, who use the spiritual, the divinity they had left in them to manipulate others to get what they want. Because this is all they saw as a child. They never saw a, a real man love their mother. Okay. They never saw real love. This is this person is saying they they didn't have the courage, the courage to follow the signs, to sp follow spirit, because this person was getting downloads. This person was getting messages. OK, this person was getting messages for, from God. Your person could be a Taurus. You could be a Taurus. Take it where it resonate. OK, this person is saying they didn't have the courage because they didn't. They it, it's still wounds that's yet to be that's yet to be healed. Let me open. Let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. Like I said, let me be open to courageously take the steps that are shown. Spirit was showing this person the, the way spirit was leading this person to healing to their uh, to heal their shadow self. Leading this person to you, okay? Because I feel like you came in this person's life as a gift from God. You came in this person's life to help them to heal, to heal their inner child, 
to shine their divinity, to step in a emperor, divine masculine energy. But this person did not have the courage. This person was stuck in delusions. This person, when it came to this situation, this person was was stuck in their head, some type of a, a, illusion. This person was delusional when it came when it came to this person saying signs. This person almost I don't know. It's like they almost didn't accept accept this guidance from spirit uh, intention without surrender can be a fast path to delusion yes this person yeah this person did not surrender to the divine that's that's your person is saying i confess i i didn't follow the guidance i didn't follow the light i followed he found he took a different path he didn't go down the path of self-love and healing he took a whole different path and that's where it caused delusions. It caused a lot of confusion in his life. Just from him not having courage. Yes. Nothing is going easy. Nothing is going easy. Nothing is... Wow. Spirit. Confessions of the Karmic Masculine. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Yeah. This person is saying, it was hard to let you go. It was hard to let you go. I feel like for a lot of you divine films, your ancestors, God, God himself, your ancestors, your angels, they pulled you away from this karmic masculine. Okay? You have to let this karmic masculine go. Or in the past, this karmic masculine could have always left you in the past, always walking away from you, always using trickery. I feel like, yeah, for a lot of you, your karmic masculine, your person was always use, using trickery. This person will walk away from you, okay, and think they can come back and think they could just come back whenever, okay, walk away from you and use trickery, use manipulation, mind control, to, to keep you stuck in some cycle. Yeah, to so keep you stuck in some cycle. This person did not want to let you go. This person did not want to free you, I'm hearing. This person did not want to free you. This person, like I said, they have uh, codependency code issues. They did not want to let you go. This, this, masculine, this masculine is confessing. They confess that they haven't cleared, cleared their they energy. They they haven't cleared their energy. They haven't worked on any uh that any of their their childhood traumas. They haven't had the courage to to go towards spirit, to go towards the light, to step into their true divinity. Like I said, for a lot of you, your masculine turned karmic. He was he was this masculine wasn't always when y'all first got with this person. I feel like it it was a strong it was a strong connection. Okay, I'm picking up both of you star sea energy, but this person just man let life. This person did not go with the divine flow. That's why nothing is coming coming easy for this person. This person is having it hard. This person is this person did not free themselves from these constraints. They didn't free themselves. This person did not go with the divine flow. When the divine, when God was giving this person guidance, giving this person synchronicities, this person could have been saying 222, 1111. This person did not, yeah, they didn't use their intuition. They didn't follow their intuition. <clears throat> wow. Your person could be a Scorpio. Don't have to be taken where it resonate. Your person is, is confessing. Like I said, nothing is coming easy to them. They're going through a tower moment for how they treated you. For all the mind games, the mind fuckery, the manipulation, the walking out your life and thinking they could come back anytime. Yeah, they going through it. They they confessing. They make they made a bad decision. They made a bad decision. Whatever they did to you. Wow, <clears throat> we gonna get some clarifications on these, but yeah, this person, this person is admitting, this person is confessing. They, they, they never, they didn't do the self work. They never, they felt like they never got the love they deserved. 
And this is this is something that that's been since childhood. Okay, this is something they never dealt with as a adult. Okay. Your person could be someone that's very stubborn, very stubborn energy. He could be someone who always thinks he uh, always thought he was right about things. They didn't want to hear your hear you out. Okay, someone <clears throat> that always just just thought they knew what was going on, but they really ain't no shit. I I feel like that's a confession too. This person thought. They had to, the T, but it really, it really was nothing, okay? This person did not follow the guidance of the divine. That's why this person is being left out in the cold, I'm hearing. They going through tower moments because they let a karmic fuck up their divine contract, I'm hearing. I can't make this up. This person, this person is confessing that this ending has caused has has caused a significant change in their life. This ending has caused a significant change. This person is confessing. I feel like they they didn't want to let you go because they they it's something about your light. They feel dead without you. This person is confessing. They feel like they have no life. They have no drive, no push, no zest for life. Okay. This person. This person is confessing they they uh they weren't able they they wasn't what's the word they wasn't uh ready or they they chose not to uh to to kill their ego they chose not to go towards their higher self they chose not to go towards their higher self this person could could be a leo they could be someone that has a very big ego okay Clarify self-love, spirit. Clarify self-love. Clarify self-love. Clarify self-love. Clarify self-love. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This With the Ten of Wands here, this person, clarify yourself, love. This person is confessing that their childhood, they they went through hell. Their childhood was a burden to them. They went through hell. This person never got to heal those wounds. This person, he, from when he was small to as an adult, he's still carrying around these childhood wounds. Your person is confessing. He never, he never dealt with these wounds. This could be something he never opened. This person is, I feel, a stubborn energy. They, this could be something they never opened up to you about. This person is is walking around with a lot of trauma. This person was sent here with you to break generational curses, but this person got caught up. This person did not take the guidance they were given, which which uh, made this union. It, it costs a tower moment to this union. This person walking around with all that baggage from their childhood. Okay. For a lot of you, this this uh, karmic masculine masculine is he is watching you. He's confessing. He, I I I feel like he just he he like I said he never wanted to let you go. So th this is an energy that watch you. This, this person watch you. I can't make this up with the hermit. This person is watching you online. A Libra, an air sign could be significant. Clarify guidance, spirit. Clarify guidance. You could be an air sign. You could be a... I'm picking up Libra energy, too. Wow. Wow, okay. Yeah, for a lot of you, your karmic masculine is saying... He he was he was being guided to come towards you and apologize and get like I said and give you closure. This person was being guided by spirit to come towards you, to give you closure, to apologize from all the years of stress, all the fuck shit they put you through. Okay, this person could have cheated. This person was a manipulator, a narcissist, someone very toxic. 
Someone that was vibrating so low. Someone that took you through shit you did not deserve. They were being guided by spirit to come towards you with the apology. And I feel like a lot of you never, like, like I said at the beginning, a lot of you never got this closure. A lot of you never got this closure. Like I said, this person is confessing. They they came, they were working. I, I was just trying to say this. For some of you, your, your karmic masculine was working against you with other people. Okay, this person, this person is admitting that a third parties were at play, that they were working with other people behind your back. This queen of swords, this, um, this karmic masculine, like I said, this is, this is a mother energy. I pick up, this is the karmic masculine mother. For some of you, this karmic masculine mother was jealous of you. Wanted to defeat, uh, wanted to come in between this connection, defeat this connection. Mm. Wow. Um, clarify letting go, spirit. Yeah. Wow. This with this hey man, this this person did not want to let you go. For a lot of you, this person just wanted to keep you stuck. For a lot of you. The con that was the contract, okay? For this, for a lot of you, you had to deal with this karmic masculine in order for you to wake up to who you are, in order for you to wake up to your true divinity, your divine feminine energy, your empress energy, okay? And for a lot of you, this person was sent on your path for you to learn some type of lesson. For a lot of you, this person, this person was just came on your path to keep you stuck, to teach you lessons. This karmic masculine. You had to wake up to the fact you were dealing with a karmic masculine. And two, this karmic masculine is saying, after having to let you go, after having to let you go, I feel like they now are looking at things in a different perspective. Like I said, this person, I feel it's a stubborn energy. This is someone that thinks they know it all, okay? This is someone after being stripped of their divinity, after you leaving out their life, this is someone that's now seeing things in a different point of view. They now seeing it your way. For a lot of you, this karmic masculine is confessing that uh, family, his family, was that play with with coming in between this uh, relationship? Like I said, we seen a karmic mother, and like I said, this car this this if this is a karmic fem a karmic masculine, of course his family is karmic, and y'all already know that divine films, y'all already know that. <laughs> Two. With the high priestess and a family card, this this person this person is admit admitting that. He, it's a lot of unknown things. It's, it's a lot that you don't know surrounding this person and her family. Or this could be surrounding this person and someone in your family. Take it real resonate. This person is saying karma is on a ass. They confessing they did not get away with that shit. That the angel spirit called judgment and they going through it. Clarify clearing spirit. Clarify clearing. Clarify clearing. Clarify clearing. Wow. Like I said. <laughs> Two of Cups. Yes. Like, like I said, for a lot of you, for a lot of you, this wasn't. This this was a karmic masculine. This this was just a high level soulmate. Like I said, this was just some the emperor ain't pop out. This was just someone. This was just a high level soulmate. This is this was someone you had a spiritual connection with, a spiritual contract with for you to clear out your generational traumas. Okay, this but this person is confessing that they did not want to let this two of cups go. They didn't want to clear you out of their energy with this two of cups here too. This this person is confessing they still love you. This person still has sexual feelings for you, okay? This person is admitting that they were working with others to slow to slow down, slow you down. 
This person, dude, I can't make this shit up. They was kind of, like I said, they the third parties is significant. This person was working with third parties. This person was working with others. And for a lot of you, this is what slows your connection down. This is this person too tries to slow you down. This person was working with other people. The karmic mother again. That that was jealous of you. That's why a lot of you walked away and you went on a different path. Wow. Let me get one more. Uh, one, one more right now. <clears throat> Something is happening right now. I'm going to clarify this. Look, here go the, the, the emperor. There you go. Want to pop out at the end. Clarify right now. Clarify right now. Wow. Look, this emperor, this, this, uh, this, this masculine energy that you was dealing with, that you walked away from, this masculine is, is confessing. He, his family is karmic. I'm hearing too, this masculine understands. He now understands because he looking at things from a different perspective. He understands why you walked away from his ass, okay? And with the world clarifying this right now, he he understands that this karmic cycle is complete. He right now he understand that that you are ascending. He understand that this is that this is this relationship, this connection you guys share, this this spiritual union is over. He he understands his spiritual union is over, okay? He understands you walked away because his his family was karmic. For some of you, the mother didn't like you for no reason, could have been jealous of you. The sisters, I feel like this family always had a problem with you, always had some personal vendetta against you, always came up against you because you're the divine film and that's period, okay? And they're karmic, okay? And that's why you walked away and that's just period. And yeah, divine films, I'm so... I love you guys. Continue to stay strong. This is the confessions from your karmic masculine. Everything you need to know about me will be in the description. Everything you need to know about my poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well. Don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.